Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Snapfall SMP. So last episode we built our village repeater in the live stream minigame and the episode before that we built our starter house and got kitted out. In this episode we've we're gonna make some serious progress on our mega base. We're gonna plan it out and we're gonna build something big. Oh yeah, and I also built this mechanical dragon off camera and I also removed the trees from my island. So that out of the way, let's create the outline of our mega base. That is too close. now done with the terrain of the where my base is going to go i think it turned out really well the mountain is whatever but the rest of the terrain is really cool uh next up i'm going to show all of you some interactions that happened while i was building this thing and after that we're gonna get to work outlining where i'm gonna put everything hello i think i see somebody hello hello davis um so what was it just a beacon and a bunch of iron blocks right yeah <laughs> and my base is over here if you want to take a quick tour. Uh, yeah, sure. I can actually see my base from here because I have my mini hub thing on. Oh, cool. Ooh. Yes, I don't have much so far, but this is what I do have. There's even a mechanical dragon. You're building towards me anyway. Oh, I am? Yeah. Oh, I think I know I where you are. Much, I don't plan on doing much in the ocean. That's cool. Yeah, maybe we can make our bases like meet at some point. That'd be cool. Yeah, I've got a pump with um, dragon on top as well, which is like the other side of my base. Actually, you should be able to see my very scuffed raid farm. Over here. Oh yes, the stone thing with leaves on top. Yeah, that's my very scuffed raid farm. So Best that's what that is. And the server. Okay. Yeah, I don't like traditional raid farms, so I, d I made my own. Okay. Well done. I could never design my own raid farm. I've designed my own iron farm and sugarcane farm, but a raid farm is a whole different level. Yeah. I mean, it's much a similar concept. You leave blocks where you want the mobs to spawn. You put leaves on the blocks you don't want them to spawn. And just make walls so they can't escape. Like, at least for that design, and then for the complicated ones, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother trying to figure those ones out, because I don't know myself. Yeah. I mean, I don't know 
like E and I except for designer that major that famous three farm is just like an absolute master of that stuff. Yeah. And go back to terraforming now. Okay. Goodbye. See ya. <laughs> I followed you. <laughs> I was just trying to see your base from over here, but it's not quite in the distance. Yeah. What if you make a harbor and we have like ships that are coming from each other's base? That would be sick actually. I'm bad at making ships, but that would be cool. Yeah. Just an idea I had. Okay, now I'm actually gonna go back to my base now and start keep terraforming. So, I just got a trident earlier and it was off camera, but it was epic. Um, oh yeah, it's set home, isn't it? Fortunately, it's unenchanted and pretty low durability. But Davis called Fred, still wants it. And so I'm selling it to him. Oh, right, here it is. Seven durability left. Let's see if we can track him down at his base. Oh, there he is. Hello. Uh -huh. It is Atemiel, the trident salesman. I haven't been eating a trident and I got one, so here's the trident. Okay, here's some blocks. <laughs> Thank you. Good trade. Seven to every trident. Yep. Best trade I've ever done on this server. Okay. Well, I hope it was a good first trade. I hope this trident bodes you well. I hope it brings good luck to you. Yes, now I don't have to use one. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, no, I want that trident. Well, a deal's a deal, so I'm gonna go back to my yep, base. Yep, yep, too late. <laughs>